And police are looking for the person who shot and killed a man last night in Evansville. Tonight, we're learning more about the shooting that left people in a neighborhood shaken. Right now, police do not have a suspect and are left with more questions than answers. 44 News reporter Marissa Potwa joining us live tonight in Evansville with what she's learned about that victim. Marissa? I'm here on Haney's Corner, where just a few blocks away last night, a man was shot and left for dead just, again, a few blocks away right there on Parrott Street. Now, the coroner's office just released the victim's identity as 47-year-old Donald Ray Brigham of Evansville. I just heard five distinct gunshots. I got a man down in the middle of the street, shot fire. He's laying in the ground right now dying. Please get an ambulance there now. Several 911 calls were made just after 6 on Thursday night, after Brigham was shot multiple times and found bleeding to death on the corner of Parrott Street and Riverside Drive. From there, medical aid was rendered and he was transported to a local hospital. Brigham later succumbed to his injuries, dying just before 10. When we first moved in, there were hookers out here. We were coming out and saying, go somewhere else. Um, that's a lot different than gunshots, though. Melissa Whitler, who has lived at the heart of Haney's Corner for nearly 26 years and was just a few blocks away at home when she heard the commotion. I heard him say they were looking for somebody, so I locked us up. But as she waits for the shooter to be locked up, she's sadly not surprised that criminal activity happened so close to her backyard. It's not the first time lately we've heard the gunshots, so, you know, it's kind of... It seems like it's getting kind of bad. And with this being the second fatal shooting in the city this week, police, just like the rest of the community here, are hoping the killings stop. Any help the community can provide would be grateful. As for Whitler, she prays for peace in her neighborhood. There's so many businesses right here that are doing so well, so many people moving in. You hope that it's uh, fireworks. <laughs> it's kind of how, you know, we are now. It's like, I hope it's fireworks and not shots fired. Now, an autopsy for Brigham is scheduled for later today. Reporting live in Evansville, Marez Potwa, 44 News.